but I'm always get back up. One thing about me is I'll never, ever, ever be down for long. I always get back up. Like, one thing about me is I'm gonna get back up. Cause people wanna see you down. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about toxic relationships, dating, and confidence, self-confidence, having self-confidence. Um, so just love yourself. Always be yourself. Don't let people pull you down, bring you down. Um, I mean, we all go through bad days, but they don't last forever. They never last forever. You know, get yourself back up. So I have this notebook here because I wrote a few things down that I want to talk about on this video, for this video. So um, the topic is going to be about dating and dealing with toxic people, like friendship, relationship, um, you know, family, anybody. So love yourself. Never let anyone bring you down, no matter what they say, what they do never show that they made you mad or upset always be yourself be confident in yourself um i just had a baby recently so i haven't been really confident with myself but i'm gaining it back because i've always been like a very confident person like i don't walk in the room with my nose down always up that's just how i should be like just act like you that's period period period, period. dealing with toxic people uh I cut, you gotta cut sometimes you just gotta cut ties it's not about how long you know that person some people can you can know a person for a year and they still be toxic to you treat you wrong do you dirty that's relationship wise and friendship wise like i done been through so many friends like i got to the point where i don't even need friends no more you know i don't even need people coming in my life and leaving because that's like why would you want to come in my life and leave you know like i'm the best friend you ever had you know like you need to be putting up with like toxic people. Like it's a, it's twenty, it's about to be twenty twenty three. Cut them people. <laughs> 20, oh. It's about to be twenty twenty three. Cut them people off. Like delete them from your life. You don't need them in your life. You know, quit hanging on to dead weight. Dead weight. If them people is not helping you out, like being there for you, not even money wise, cut them out of your life. You don't need them in your life. Like I've been dealing with that since I was like in middle school. Like. You gotta learn how to cut people out your life. Delete people. You don't need them people around you. What they, what are they gonna be around you for? Like, and some people, when it comes to like friendship, to be hating. Like, you can't really do too much about that. So, cut them out your life. Relationship advice. If the relationship is not working, don't stay. Do not stay. Do not stay for no baby. Do not stay for no marriage. Don't stay. Like if it's like abusive, toxic, leave. Like to the point where you're getting, you know, beat on and stuff, leave. There's no point of you staying. Because I wouldn't stay. Even if even if like it was for the baby. No, 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 no. My me personally, I'll go. Deuces. But um but when it comes to being with who makes you happy, like me and my boyfriend have been together for almost three years. And there's a lot of people that were like why y'all dating him? I'm African American. So he's like, they're like, you don't need to be dating him. Or why are you dating him? Y'all don't even look good together. I didn't let that phase me, you know? Like, you're going to be with who you want to be with. Date who you want to date. You know, like, at the end of the day, it's your relationship, no one else's. So be with who you want to be with. And communication is a big part of being with someone. You know, like, you got to learn how to communicate. Sometimes we can't really, sometimes it's like, I want to be right. He want to be right. But sometimes you just one of one of you, one of you need to be just like be quiet, let it let it die down. But communication is a big part of a relationship. You know, people think it's not, but it really is. Cause how are you gonna how are you gonna be with someone if you can't really talk to them? Like how are you gonna date someone if you can't communicate with them? In marriage, I'm not married. I'm single. Well, not single, but I'm like not married. I'm not married. Um, We've been working on getting our finances together before we get married because that's a big part of marriage. Finances too, like money and communication is a big part of being married to somebody. So we're in the, we're in the process of getting that 
together before we get married. You gotta talk about that stuff before you wanna be with someone for like the rest of your life. You gotta make sure you got finances together, communication, all that together before you wanna just marry someone. And that's a big, big com commitment. Marriage is a big commitment. Of course, having kids is too, but I mean, that's a big commitment too. But you know, kids at 18, you don't have to deal with that person that you had a kid with. You know, after they turn 18, it's like, but me personally, marriage is like a big thing, like a huge thing. So, um, yeah, we've been together for about about only four years. So, yeah, I'm very proud of our relationship and how far we have came. Like, we got a place together. We have a kid together. Like, all this shit is really big. Um, love, trust, communication, and everything else. You know, it's the only, only way relationships go right if you're communicating with someone. But if someone is cheating on you, please leave. Do not stay with them. If they're cheating on you, you doing you dirty, leave. Because I'm not going to be with nobody that's going to cheat on me with someone else. Like, you know, that's wasting my time. We too grown to be wasting time. So, like, don't be with somebody that's going to cheat on you. They're cheating on you, doing you dirty. You can find somebody out. There's a lot of people out here. A lot of people out here. When I was single, when I was single, when I was with someone else, I would get cheated on all the time. And, like, I find out about it, I leave. Go back. That was my biggest mistake. Going back. You don't never go back to somebody that cheats on you. You do it one time, they're gonna do it again. Cause yeah, they do it one time, they're gonna cheat on you again. Don't be with someone that's gonna cheat on you again. Don't do that. There's no point in you doing that. Like leave on he cheats, leave. Hit the road. Um and how I feel about it is why would you want to cheat on someone that you love? Like if they cheat on you, they don't love you. They don't really love you. They that's seeing you. They want to see you hurt. Basically, they they make looking like they want to see you hurt. It ain't looking like they really love you. Um, but yeah, this video is probably all over the place. But you know, love yourself. You know, treat yourself once in a while. Like get your nails done, hair done. Um, me, I've been working twenty four seven and also taking care of my son. So I don't really have time to get my nails done. I can do my hair now. I do my own hair. I get my hair done, do my own little lashes. Um, just try to keep up with myself a little bit because I know one time I was like, like, mm. like, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling like myself. But now I have got back to myself a little bit more. Now that I'm like sitting there looking at it, I'm like, girl, a baby don't stop nothing. Get up, get it going, get it together, get it back. You know, like. Get it back, cause you know your baby feels everything. If you're upset, your baby gonna feel it. If you're not feeling like you should feel motivated, your baby gonna feel that. So I just told myself I need to get up, get up, and be a better person. You know, I need to get up and do better, be better, get up. Life update. Here's a life update. Okay, so Tyson is three months now. And I just been taking care of him. He hasn't really been sleeping a lot. He only gained a pound, which he eats a lot, like a bunch. And that's what one of the reasons I'm having you like really depressed is like I'm feeding my baby, but he's not getting no food really. It's like he's not getting enough weight. So I took him to the doctor. So they have to do an ultrasound in his belly to see like what's going on with that. He's not really using the bathroom like a baby should use the bathroom. So right now I'm just, you know, going through it with that. But he's getting more happier though. Like he's a happy baby who is more active, you know, like now. He knows how to watch T V, he knows how to like talk, play with his hands. But yeah. So that's my life update and how I've been doing since post you know, since I had him in August. Postpartum is kinda kicking me kicking me down. But I'm always get back up. One thing about me is how I never, ever, ever be down for long. I always get back up. Like, one thing about me is I'm going to get back up. Because people want to see you down. And that's the thing. You, you can't let people see you down. They think they can you know, make you feel less than what you are. You get back up. You got to get up. You got to do something with your life. It might not be today. It might not be tomorrow. But you need to get up. You know, like, do something. Be active. You know, do something with your life. Empowerment, empowerment. 
like I always tell myself, people gonna people gonna say what they want to say at the end of the day. People gonna talk to talk about you. That's what they always do. You know, give them something to talk about. Yeah, give them something to talk about. Because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give somebody something to talk about. You know, if it's me, I'm gonna give them what, what they want to talk about. You know, but sometimes you just gotta cut people out your life. Don't just be them away. Don't be friends with them. Don't date them. Don't deal with them. Like. We all grown. You ain't got to deal with nobody. You ain't got to deal with people because you ain't got to deal with people. You just got to have confidence. I'm very confident in myself. I love myself. I mean, I, don't get me wrong. There's days where I don't like myself. I don't want to get up. I don't want my lips. I don't wear my hair. I don't want my eyelashes. I don't want nothing. That's just part of life, though. Like, but, yeah. Thumbnail. Oh, that's a long finger. <laughs> but, okay. Yeah, so don't deal with people that's cheating, toxic. Leave them out your life. Yeah. This video isn't going to be long because, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. Comment down below videos you'd like to see me do, and I will do them. Thanks for all the love and support you guys have been giving me. Till next time.